So in the last video, we talked about the basic pattern of the sample question paper of home science for the term 2021-22 and it carried 30 marks for class 12th. In this video, we will be talking about the solutions, the marking scheme which has been given by CBSC for the term 2 paper. So welcome everybody to the session and let us start with the solutions of the sample question paper. The pattern has already been discussed. But before I begin with the solution and the marking scheme of the paper, if you have not subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing it and if you like it at the end, just give it a thumbs up. And any student who is in need of this solution, you can share the video with that person. Okay. So these were the basic instructions. I'll just go through it fast. The paper it carries 35 marks. The time is due to two uh, hours. There are 13 questions, three sections. Question number is two marks. K you have seven questions, three marks you have three questions, and four marks you have three questions. And there are internal choices. Okay. So let's begin with the section A. The first question was. What two roles Sudha will have as a fashion merchandiser in each of the following fields? The first one is in manufacturing and the second is in promoting. So here we will be talking about the functions of fashion merchandisers. I uh, will try to explain and cover the topics again so that the revision of these topics also uh, is done by the time we finish off with this sample paper and in future whenever I discuss the questions I will also be discussing their answers and explaining them so that we complete the topic also. So when we talk about the role of fashion merchandiser in manufacturing, uh, the basics are makes significant inputs on the types of fabrics used to make a piece of clothing and the second is take a designer's piece find the best way to manufacture the item by taking into consideration the price and the target target market. So first he has to identify the types of fabrics and then once the fashion designer has finalized the design of the piece, then he has to find out what, what will be the best and the cheapest way to manufacture it. And in promoting, he can organize a fashion shows and this fashion show will help in promoting of the designer items. And the second is they can seek the target market for the designer clothing. And the target market could be children market, clothing stores, it could be for the teenagers, for elderly. So they have to identify the target market. So the basic functions, I will just summarize it. In manufacturing, he has to identify the types of fabrics for a particular cloth. And the second is to find the best way to manufacture the fashion designer items which have been designed. Okay. And in promoting, organize fashion shows and seek the target market. If you look at this picture, it shows all the functions of the fashion merchandiser. He has to de uh, decide ki isko kaise manufacture karna hai, what will be the target market, how much to produce, the types of fabrics to be used and the best way to manufacture it. Okay. The second question is enumerate four essential features of development communication. As this question carries two marks, four, uh, you have to write down five points and each point carries half a mark. So four essential features are it is oriented to socio-economic development and happiness of the people and community at large. This marking is scheme is the scheme which has been given by the CBSC. You can write down any other point also. It also aims at giving information and educating the community. These are the basic functions and the features of development communication as is very clear from the name development and communication. It combines the suitable mass media, the uh, channel or the method of communicating with the people and interpersonal communication channels for greater impact. So if it is some illiterate audience. Uh, in development communication, you will have to think of the communication means which are suitable for illiterate audience. That is, you will be making some use of some audio visual aids, but they should not have more of written content. But if you are talking to academia, then you can make use of such content also. It is based on the audience characteristics because this message is basically meant for your audience. So you have to identify the characteristics of the audience and the environment they are 
in so what were the basic features socio economic development de information and education of the masses selection of suitable mass media and the characteristics of the audience okay uh, i've tried to make the slides a little more interactive and interesting so that it is easy for you to remember the third question is duri wants to create a clothing collection using two contrasting color scheme okay so nahi using contrasting two color schemes what four different types of contrasting schemes can she use so here she wants to make use of contrasting color scheme it is if you remember you have two types of color scheme the first is contrasting and the other is analogous तो यहाँ पर एनोलॉगस नहीं वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग कलर स्कीम इन विच यू हैव कलर्स ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर इन द कलर व्हील सो द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग स्कीम्स आर द फर्स्ट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कलर स्कीम्स वेयर यू मेक यूज ऑफ टू यूज व्हिच लाई डायरेक्टली ऑपोजिट टू वन एंड अदर ऑन द कलर व्हील फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर दीज टू आर इफ यू मेक यूज ऑफ रेड एंड ग्रीन दिस इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कलर स्कीम If you make use of blue and orange, this is complementary color scheme. If you make use of yellow and purple, that is also a complementary color scheme. The second is double complementary. Here you make use of two hues that lie directly opposite to one another on the color wheel, but the difference is it has two pairs of complements, which are usually the neighbors on the color schemes. so here you have two complements yellow ke opposite you have purple or iske barabar mein you have yellow orange jiske opposite you have blue purple so here you have two two uh, colors which are analogous to each other on the color wheels and the colors opposite to them so a combination of analogous and complementary color scheme here a complement is basically selected for a dominance in a group of neighboring colors i'll discuss this analogously analogous color schemes mein you have colors which are adjacent to each other and in complementary you have colors which are opposite to each other the third scheme is split complementary it has three color combinations ek to hue hai hue is yellow here its complement its complement is purple that is color directly across to it and its neighbors so what we do is we leave this one and what we can do is we can use the two neighbors so if we have yellow then we can make use of opposite is purple we can make use of blue purple and red purple so this is split complementary color scheme clear then you have analogous color scheme in this analogous color scheme you have a hue its complement and the neighbors this is the hue and its complement it is red the complement is green and we have also taken the colors which are analogous to this complement so if you have red and green you can take the colors which are adjacent to this okay so analogous color scheme may the we make use of red here so that it comes out and uh, basically it creates the dominance in all the analogous color schemes it becomes more striking color combination so in those case we make use of analogous color schemes the third question is sushma wants to create a dress using different shapes which four shapes she can create by using different types of lines in question number 3 you have been given a choice uh the second one we'll take up in the next part the so the four basic shapes these four basic shapes are also of two marks each one carries half a mark so basic shapes are natural shapes natural shapes like this flower which looks like natural stylized shapes this is a stylized shape it's basically a fashionized version of the natural shapes geometric shapes where we you make use of geometrical shapes lines circles and abstract shapes which are not very clear they are more designer creations so the first one is natural shapes these are all flowers i've made use of same feature or the same uh, basically you can say theme this is natural flower this is stylized flower this is geometric flower and this is abstract flower the next is give reasons for the following 
spinning to near dryness is avoided. Why do we avoid spinning all the clothes to near dryness? That way it will be very convenient to dry it because you are out and they are ready to wear. The basic problem with uh, spinning to that extreme is uh, it causes wrinkles which are very difficult to remove even do during ironing. So if the clothes are very dry, you will have to sprinkle water or make use of steam to iron them. So it's better that you leave the clothes a little wet. Uh, the agitators, the B part is agitators of the washing machine should be made of bakelite. So the agitators of washing machine should be make of, made of bakelite as they are not affected by detergents, bleaches or softeners. Here also this carries two marks, each a part A and part E. B is of one mark. See, if the clothes are so dry, then they will remain wrinkled. And by when you iron them no, without steam, then the wrinkles, they remain. The impact of the wrinkles, it remains of the clothes. And the bakelite, it resembles plastic and it is not affected by detergents, bleaches and softeners. Next is, what do you understand by the term campaign? Write its two advantages. So, the first part it carries one marks and the second part where you have to write down two advantages it also carries one mark and each, each advantage is for half a buck. So what is a campaign? It is a combination of the usage of different communication methods and materials about a theme for a predefined period of time. So a campaign is always for a predetermined period of time. Just election campaign hota hai. Election campaign is carried on only before the elections. It's not the year round. So it is a combination of different communication methods. It could be digital, it could be audio, it could be visual and materials. You have a particular theme. For example, in this particular campaign, you have made use of a slogan, be part of the change. And what is the method of communication? It is more of a pamphlet or a banner and it is for a predetermined period of time. Its advantages are that it ensures the attention and interest of the audience, it lasts in the memory of the people and stimulate action because it is for a small period of time, it creates conducive environment for the adoption of practices. So what is the action that you want? Be a part of the change, have a waste-free environment, reduce, recycle and tell me what is the last one? You have to write it down. The fifth question is state any two objectives of RRE. What is RRE? Do you remember? It is Red Ribbon Express and Seva Project. Clear? So the two objectives again RRE and Seva both of these they carry one mark each. Each objective is for half a mark. Two objectives of RRE. What was RRE for? It was to spread awareness against aid. So spread information regarding pr primary preventive services against AIDS, develop an understanding of the disease, reduce stigma, reduce discrimination against the people. You can write down any other, create awareness against the AIDS, AIDS program, how to prevent the methods of prevention and all this. Okay. Then objectives of SEVA project to achieve full employment and self-reliance for women workers. This is one of the most important objective of SEVA. Then support women in other related areas like income, food and social security. Some other minor objectives can be to make women independent, empowerment of women. These are all the objectives of SEVA. You can write down any two. Question number six is elaborate about the four stages of the guest cycle. What were the four stages? Pre-arrival, arrival, occupancy and finally departure. If you remember, I took a very nice lecture or a video on this topic. If you uh, if you have not seen the video, you can go to this i button and uh, watch it. The four stages of guest cycle I've already told you. Pre-arrival stage, arrival stage, occupancy and departure. Pre-arrival stage is quoting rates for a guest and for a guest it is making inquiries for the room. Arrival stage when the guest actually arrives and registers or checks in. Occupancy. When you make use of the services, occupy the room uh, as per the requirements and ensuring the safety of the guest to look after the needs, 
uh, ensuring proper hospitality, coordination among the various guest services. It could be beverages, it could be uh, linen and the laundry, all of it. And departure when the guest is ready to leave or move out. Here you can also ask for the feedback. You can write down a few lines about each one. Uh, and this again, four stages, half mark each. So you just have to write down one or two lines, not details. And the last question in section A is, you have taken training in consumer education and protection. What four job opportunities will be available to buy? By now, you must have understood the basic marking scheme. Again, it asks you four job objectives. So each objective or opportunity it carries half a mark. What are the four job opportunities? Work in government organizations like BIS, Directorate of Marketing and Inspection, EGMAR. And if you remember, there were many other auditing company, auditing organizations also as we did in the previous lessons uh, where you can work. Then you can work in voluntary consumer organization like Voice and Surf where you can create consumer awareness, publish of publishing of magazines and not just this, you can even guide them about the legal options which they have. Work in consumer division of various corporate houses which deal with consumer complaints and suggestions. Ye aap sabhi ne dekha hoga, customer care, who keep on calling you, uh, then pursue the customers, increase the number of customers, look at the services they offer, that's it. And work in the national consumer helpline, this is the free helpline which is available for the consumers. So you can write down any four, any other also you can write down, work as a journalist, open your own blogs, you can work in online as legal uh, assistance to the customers, See, these are all the different options which are available. You have to write down any four. Each one carries seven marks. So, what were the options which are available? Government organization, voluntary consumer organization, custom consumer division of corporate houses and national consumer helplines. So, these are the various job opportunities. Best of luck for your exams. If you have liked it, do tell me in the comment box. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. The more you share, the more motivated we are and if you have not subscribed, don't forget to press the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.